households in the bottom quintile tend to a lot of them be single individuals, retired individuals and people who've just graduated from college living alone and so on. Um, uh, and it, the households become larger as, as you go up the income scale. And when you adjust for size, look at what happens there. The bottom quintile actually receives 5% more income adjusted for size than the second quintile does. Uh, and only 7% less than the middle. So here in the the 40% of the population in the second and third quintiles, that 40% of the population are working hard. Lots of the people are working and they're working full time. People in the bottom quintile generally aren't. Very few, only a third of the working age people in the bottom quintile actually have a job. And when they have a job, they work less than 20 hours a week. Um, so basically, Huge difference in effort, <coughs> no meaningful difference in income.